A lot of people with a loved one in a nursing home worry about at some point, is my family member being abused? Now, after months of not being able to see people in nursing homes due to COVID, that worry got even worse for some. But now a new law could offer peace of mind to everyone. Christian Hauser breaks down Esther's law and explains why advocates say it's necessary. Steve Piscor's mother was in a nursing home. He says that she was unable to speak and needed total care from the staff. But Piscor says he started noticing signs of abuse. The problem was his mother couldn't talk and couldn't tell him what was happening. So he decided to set up a hidden camera and see what was really going on. It was worse than Piscor could have imagined. His videos showed eight aides were abusing his mother. This abuse and neglect is just going to keep happening, and there's no stopping it. There is no way to stop it. The only way I caught abuse was with a camera. Otherwise, I would have never known that my mother was being brutally abused. Piscor asked about putting a camera in his mother's room, but the nursing home told him no. There was nothing in Ohio law that dealt with the situation, so he decided to put a hidden camera in his mother's room anyways, despite what the nursing home told him. I knew the nursing home was going to fight me on, you know, if I just took one incident to them and said, hey, this is happening, you know, they would have dismissed it. Uh, even after I took them all the videos of the abuse, they still said it wasn't abuse. They, they, they weren't going to call it abuse. That was in 2011. Ever since, Piscor has worked to get a law that says cameras are allowed in nursing home rooms. Eventually, he got in touch with State Senator Nikki Antonio. She sponsored Esther's law. She says the proposal has had near-unanimous support. The only opposition came from the nursing home lobby. But once some small changes were made, like who could install a camera, Antonio says they no longer oppose the bill. After all, it could also prove abuse wasn't happening. I think the reasons you have just mentioned are part of the reason why the nursing homes are um, are OK with this, because it can actually protect their staff and and their institution. Antonio says Esther's law has strong support on both sides of the aisle, and she hopes the law could pass both houses and be signed into law by Governor DeWine by the end of the year. I'm Christian Hauser for Local 12 News. Now to the aides in the abuse case got jail time. A judge sentenced one of them more than 10 years. Several others were either fired or disciplined. Yeah.